and, and whether or not uh, there are ways in which those of us who have deep concerns about President Trump's comments uh, could make that known to the responsible authorities. Now, the Speaker has the power to block any invitation to address Parliament in Westminster Hall. So what he said next shocked just about everyone. After the imposition of the migrant ban by President Trump, I am even more strongly opposed to an address by President Trump in Westminster Hall. And the Speaker, who is, remember, politically neutral, didn't stop there. As far as this place is concerned, I feel very strongly that our opposition to racism and to sexism and our support for equality before the law and an independent judiciary are hugely important considerations in the House of Commons. Applause is against Commons rules, but opposition MPs couldn't help themselves. Addressing the joint Houses of Parliament in Westminster Hall is a particular honour bestowed on leaders from Nelson Mandela to Aung San Suu Kyi and more recently Barack Obama. But why not Donald Trump? Many people will argue that what you do with someone you don't agree with is allow them to come and tell them what you think of them. Well, uh, that's indeed why I haven't supported a, a ban on Donald Trump coming to this country. Of course, uh, he is very welcome to come here and have discussions with our government and uh, indeed with MPs, and I would happily go to a meeting with him. Um, the question is, is whether you honour him. Mrs May's swift invitation for a Donald Trump state visit has already caused her some awkward moments. The Speaker of the Commons has just handed her another one by saying Donald Trump isn't coming here. Well, Carl, a pretty extraordinary intervention from the Speaker. He's clearly strongly opposed to any...